The new Ahsoka trailer looks amazing. We're gonna break it down, look at it right now. So let's go. War is inevitable. One must destroy in order to create. All right, the force like grab and the force push to these new Republic soldiers. Legit, dude. Legit. We are no Jedi. I started hearing whispers. All right, I really, I really want to know what this is. Like, where, where are they going with this? Because this is going to get really, really interesting. Like the world between world stuff that we see in Rebels, which Floney has said that outright that this is like a continuation from the last season of Rebels. So this is, this is going to be really interesting right here. A Thrawn's return as heir to the Empire. This looks something similar we've seen in the Mandalorian where there's some kind of stones of like a, like it's almost like a star map from like KOTOR, right? Like it looks like a really ancient Jedi, I don't know, like seeing stone of some kind or something like, dude, it's just, I'm really interested to see how this is going to work. Cause it's like, it's like a map. It's almost like the star forge kind of, you know, it's got that vibe. What happens when we find Thrawn? Power. Such as you've never see there it is there's that kind of like star forge looking thing or it's 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 showing us i guess places they haven't been in the universe before or the galaxy Dreamed. i've spent most of my life fighting a war that's why i'm trying to convince you to help me prevent another one you and i both know who could help you with this She's still just as stubborn as ever. I bet your master found you difficult at times. Anakin never got to finish my training. I walked away from him, just like I walked away from Sabine. You never made things easy for me. Master. Okay, that's a bombshell right there. So Ahsoka was training Sabine as a Jedi. She just called her a master. Okay. Okay, this is going to be where it gets really interesting, guys. Kind of one of my theories here. Uh, you have the whole thing happening, you know, with with the sequels, with you know, Luke's count, like Luke's Jedi that he set up, like this whole new Jedi Council, Jedi Academy kind of thing. And we know what's going to happen with that, with Kylo Ren and stuff like that, because of the the sequels. What I think is going to be happening in the background in all other parts of the galaxy is like you have Ahsoka doing all this stuff with Rex, right? Doing all this stuff with Hera, doing all this stuff with Ezra, with Thrawn. Like she's thinking, okay, I'm like going to have to set up my own academy, meets Luke, all this stuff, right? And then gives up trying to train uh, Sabine. And I think what's going to happen, I think the future of Star Wars is going to be this. I think what we're going to see is Heir of Empire, of course, you know, because that's obviously where they're going. They say it in the trailer later on. But like it's going to be the new big baddies, which is going to be dark force users, right? These dark Jedi with Thrawn that have come to the side of Thrawn fighting the new Jedi through whether it's Rey or Ahsoka and Sabim and Ezra. It's kind of the new like Jedi Council, I guess you could say, and their alliance with the Mandalorians. Because I think the only way that they're going to beat Thrawn and their forces is with a Mandalorian army. Like it's going to be like the old Republic, right? With Revan, right? Instead of the Jedi fighting the Mandalorians, the Mandalorians are going to side with the Jedi because they see them as more honorable. They're going to fight together and they're going to like fight Thrawn and the forces of evil and the dark Jedi with Thrawn. That's where I think we're going, guys. This could be really interesting. Let's, let's keep going on the trailer. As a Jedi, sometimes you have to make the decision no one else can. But I'm counting on you to see this through. Mandalorian Jedi, man. Mandalorian Jedi. Last, the only one we've ever seen is Tar Vizsla. So, and he's the one that created the dark saber. You guys know probably some of that lore, but this is going to be really interesting because this will be another Mandalorian Jedi. Nice haircut. Sometimes we have to do what's right, regardless of our personal feelings. Space whale just like we saw in season three of the uh, rebels so this is going to be really interesting that we're gonna we're actually gonna see this buckle up if we don't stop Thrawn, everything will be in vain god dude doesn't he look so freaking good he looks so good man this is gonna be great 
You have no power. Anakin spoke highly of you. I'm not here to discuss my past. We have a lot of work to do. Okay, that's really cool because we saw him in another trailer, which he is the droid that helped in the original Clone Wars animated series with the younglings when they would go to Ilum and they build their lightsabers. And one of the other trailers, he said, maybe we should begin again with Ahsoka. So this could infer that maybe they're going to start building up and training Jedi again. It's a rebel, always a rebel. God, dude, that's going to be so good. I cannot freaking wait for this show, man. It's going to be so good. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. If you watched it all the way through with me, hey, let me know in the comments what you think and if you think my theory may, may come true. But let me know in the comments. Appreciate you guys and blow it up.